right? So boys and girls, today we are going to learn regarding the male reproductive system. Male reproductive system, it is composed of two major parts. One is called as a penis, it is the ejaculatory part and main part of the male reproductive system that is a testis. There are two testes which are present outside the body of the male, right? And these two testes, they are present inside a sac like structure that is called as a sperm. Why it is present outside the body of the male? Because the sperm cells, right, for their growth and development, it requires less temperature as compared to the human body. Normally, human body's temperature is generally it is near about 37 degrees Celsius, right? So, it requires less temperature than right? 37 degrees Celsius temperature is somewhat harmful for the growth and development of the sperm cells. So, that's why naturally scrotum in which testes are present which produces that sperm cells in which sperm cells are produced and they are temporarily stored also right it is present outside the body in a sac like structure that is called as a scrotum now inside the scrotum there are two testes how many testes are present two testes are present <coughs> near about having a diameter of 3 to 4 centimeter right now these two testes how they are present right they are present outside the body of the male now these testes they are composed of various parts which are present inside image right a layer tunica albizinia a layer tunica albizinia this layer inside the skin right Unica it is present now inside that layer of compartments are present right these compartments the walls of these compartments are called as septa the walls of the compartment is called as septa and inside the septa a network of vesicle vessels is present a network of very thin small size vessel is present that is called as the seminiferous ferus is ka network hota hai bachcho seminiferous tubules and the function of the seminiferous tubule is production of sperm cells this actual production of sperm cell Actual production of the sperm cell it takes place inside the seminiferous tubules. Now the sperm cells which are produced inside the seminiferous tubules are immature, are immature. So these immature sperm cells through the <coughs> seminiferous tubules which are interconnected with each other by means of vessels that are called as the red testes enter into the red testes. The sperm cells through the seminiferous tubule, it enter into red testes and through red testes, they further move ahead and enter into uh, further somewhat broad size vessels that is called as a effluent ductus, right? Through effluent ductus, or through effluent ductus, it enter a large type of bladder type of right? structure that is called as a epididymis. Now this large size part, right, somewhat cylindrical, it is divided into three major parts. Head region, middle piece or middle part and tail region, right. Means epididymis is constructed or epididymis is made up of by three major parts, right, which are that, head, middle part and tail. Now the sperm, immature sperm cells, through this different ductus, they enter into the epididymis and where they are temporary, temporarily stored, where they are the, where the growth and development of the sperm cells takes place and the sperm cells become mature, right? Which become eligible for the fertilization of female egg. For the fertilization of female egg. As they become <coughs> as they become mature. Right? <coughs> During the process of copulation or union of that male and female, these sperm cells, they move forward direction through the tail part of the immediate damage, 
through the tubular structure that is called as the vasa depress through the vasa depress right which is connected to the urinogenital part which is passing through the penis right as it comes here a leaf like structure is present a big gland is present that is leaf like structure a major big size gland that is called as the costal gland right in male reproductive system there are three glands kitne glands hote bachcho three glands are there which are that number one seminal vesicle costal gland and pulmonary gland as the process it comes here near the seminal vesicles near the actual costal glands right seminal vesicle it secretes its secretion clear and the secretion which has been secreted by the seminal vesicle it is some having some more sticky fluid like structure that is required for the formation of the semen that fluid is called as a semen and that semen it provide nourishment also it provides energy right for the swimming purpose for the movement of the sponsors right for forward direction now <coughs> boys and girls the sponsors through the liquid which has been secreted by the seminal vesicle which is required for the formation of the semen that sponsors enter in that semen right float inside the semen or float inside the liquid which has been secreted by the seminal vesicle right now correctly it is called as the semen right it gets energy it gets the food from that liquid also as they move forward direction sponsors as they move right as they move is by means of a tail part of the sponsor sponsors are look like this this is the head part neck middle part
hyaluronidase right so these various types of enzymes right which are secreted by this acrosome part of the or head part of the sperm cells right now boys and girls the sperm cells look here the sperm cells which are produced through the seminiferous tubules which are immature they move forward direction through the red testis enter into the efferent ducts from there they enter into the epididymis are stored into the middle part and head part actually where the growth and development of that sperm cells take place they become mature become eligible capable to fertilize the female egg then during the time of that copulation of the union right that sperm cells mature sperm cells through this tubular structure that is called as vasa difference right through the tail part of the epididymis enter into vasa difference vasa difference enter into the urogenital part of the penis right as soon as they comes to there the three glands which parts which plays the important part in this male reproductive system that which are that glands semini seminal vesicles prostate gland and bulb urethral gland seminal vesicles first secrete its secretion right which is liquid form which is in liquid form some are semi liquid form which is required for the formation of the semen right which provides nourishment to the sperm cells the for the sperm cells energy is required for the swimming for the movement right energy is required and that energy is supplied right that energy is provided <coughs> to the sperm cells by means of the fluid which has been secreted by the seminal vesicle as well as it provides food also to the sperm cells now as soon as the sperm cells they move forward direction prostate gland which is present large size of gland which is present there it also secrete its secretion in form of fluid which is also required for the formation of semen means the two types of fluids which are secreted by the seminal vesicle and prostate gland collectively forms semen right and collectively provides food also right which is required for the energy <coughs> for the sperm cells clear bachcho and now the sperm cells they float they swim through that semen and move forward direction as soon as it starts moving forward direction the bulbouter gland which is the third gland it secretes its secretion and makes the acidic part neutral safe passage for the movement of the sperm cells right and finally through that safe passage through the penis right urogenital part the sperm cells comes out and are released into the vaginal part of the female reproductive system through where it enter into the uterus from uterus it enter into the fallopian tube right where the female egg comes and the fertilization of female egg by means of the sperm cells it takes place inside the fallopian tube of the female reproductive system right and always the sperm cells whose primary level is here means it contain only one set of chromosome means only one set of in case of human being only one set of 23 chromosomes is present only one set of 23 chromosome is present clear so that's why the sperm cells primary level is n and it is called as a haploid so always sperm cell is haploid cells right now the haploid sperm cells unite with haploid female egg and forms diploid cell so boys and girls this is a male reproductive system so